add the fractions 1 8 plus 3 8 and then simplify your answer. Well, whenever we add or subtract fractions, we must have a common denominator. Well, this example already has a common denominator of 8, since they match in the bottom, so we don't have to do an extra step. So we can just begin by adding 1 8 plus 3 8 now, the way we add two fractions that already have a common denominator is we add the numerators. 1 plus 3 divided by the common denominator written out as 8. Now, a common mistake is for students to add 8 plus 8, but that's not how you add a fraction. You just add the numerators and you keep the common denominator. So now we just add 1 plus 3 is 4 divided by 8 or over 8 and to simplify we look for a common factor well there's a common factor of 4 in the numerator as well as the denominator so let's divide out by a common factor of 4 so we'll divide both the numerator by 4 and the denominator by 4 and 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 8 divided by 4 is 1 half. So the sum of 1 eighth plus 3 eighths is simplified as 1 half. So now let's take a look at subtracting two fractions. It's a very similar idea. We want to have a common denominator, which we do. In order to subtract two fractions, we must have a common denominator. And the common denominator in this case is 11. So all we need to do is subtract 7 elevenths minus 3 elevenths by subtracting the numerators, 7 minus 3, over the common denominator written all by itself. And again, we do not subtract the denominators. We just, we, if we have a common denominator, then we bring it over. If we don't, then we'll show you how to find the common denominator in the next tutorial. So 7 minus 3 is just 4, and we have 4 elevenths, which is simplified since 4 and 11 have no factors in common. So I hope this helps, and in the next tutorial we'll go over adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators.